North Carolina trying to recover from that heartbreaking loss to Miami, taking on Boston College. I'm Jeff Fischel. He's Ronaldo Wynn. Ronaldo, the Tar Heels are 1-5. And, and the part that's most surprising to me is that there's actually a quarterback question with the Tar Heels. Yeah, and their record really doesn't reflect the type of team that they are. They shouldn't have anything to hang their head about, especially coming out of this game. It definitely shows that they can play with anybody in the country. But with the quarterback situation, to your point, uh, you have Marquise Williams, who fits the Fedora system. He's more of a scrambler. But Bryn Renner, I know he's a little disappointed. But as a coach, you got to look for a spark any way you can. And then whatever you can get a win, then if it's two quarterback system, so be it. So now they're going against the Eagles. I can't believe I'm arguing this. <laughs> especially coming off of a 2-10 season last year. But there are four top 25 teams in the ACC. I'm going to make the argument right now, Boston College is the fifth best team in the conference. Do you agree? I agree. They're doing exactly what Steve Adazio wanted them to do. In the beginning of the year, he's talking about establishing the running game, the physicality of the offense, and that would set the tone for the entire team, and they've done that. Andre Williams, who's been a superb runner, and he's licking his chops this week because he's going against a UNC team that's averaging 203 yards they're giving up against the run. So it'll be a great, interesting matchup. If you're doubting me, think of the one school in this conference that has fought both Clemson and Florida State tough, it is BC. He's Ronaldo Wynn. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network.